Hello, and welcome to my game, Nobility. So essentially, Nobility is a collaborative puzzle in which every one of these players over here is tasked with the challenge of getting all the way from here to over here. Now there's complexities in the map. I tried to make it as obvious as possible to fit the assignment requirements. So as you can see here, all of your characters line up in a line so there's no dispute over who uh, goes first. And there's markings of a dice, which is over here. So you roll the dice to see how far you move and you cannot move diagonally. So, the way the doors work is there's two different materials that must be obtained by everyone, and there's this red line that only two people can cross. Over here it's the clergyman and the nobleman. And now I realized this um, after playtesting that it wasn't the smartest idea to have this um, speech bubble because it led people to think that they can only... Sorry for the awkward transition. My phone ran out of battery. Um, so anyway, uh, I noticed it wasn't the best idea to have a speech bubble um, because what that did was, as you can see from these cards, they have a speech bubble, or uh, sorry, a talking indicator that you cannot talk, um, but you can talk for this one, for instance. So that whole uh, communication chain sort of uh, devolved. Um, I don't know if I talked about this yet, but there's uh, purple. Uh, purple, so you have three different purple cards um, and one class card. So for the class card, you each get a different class. Um, the nobleman is the highest. Peasant the lowest, clergyman the second lowest, or sorry, knight the second lowest, clergyman uh, second to highest. So let me go to the legend here. So essentially the core mechanic is that you can trade with one higher than yourself. So for instance the peasant can only give his items to the knight. And the knight can only give it them to the clergyman. Clergyman can only give it to the nobleman. And then the nobleman is basically the collector, as he is in real life. <laughs> um, these are all the card types, or item types, rather. Um, these make up the majority of the cards, but there are special items. So, for instance, this one adds a deeper complexity to the map, because there's four... Um, each of the classes, uh, this is essentially a wild card, I like to think of it as. So you basically take all of your or your, your uh, character, and you can cross this barrier. Now, what that allows you to do, indicated by the speech bubble, is that you can actually look at the other person's card. But with that, um, with that there's a disadvantage, in that now you don't know who is uh, the clergy um, or the nobleman up here. Um, so you essentially have two different play styles going on. The people who want to stick to this rule and the wild cards. Um, so anyway, there's uh, ones you can talk out loud. You can say, hey, I have silk. Um, there's another card which uh, tells you that you cannot, cannot talk, but you can give your item to any of these, so you don't have to adhere to this rule. That's actually a one-time use, too. My hand stuck to this card. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so anyway, that's about it. There's three rooms in total, and yeah, that's essentially it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.